Well, I'm going to make a dictionary comprehension. I'm going to call it A. A is equal to the following. I'm going to have here USA, colon, and then the language that we speak here, English, comma, and then Germany, and the language they speak there is German, comma, and then the country of France, the language they speak there is French, comma, and finally, in the country of Spain, the language they speak there is Spanish. And we've got ourselves our, our dictionary. So I've got one, two, three, four items here. X and Y, X and Y, X and Y, and X and Y. Now, you can hear and see me referring to X as the country. And you can hear and see me referring to the language as Y. You and I know that, but the system doesn't know that. But very soon the system will know that. We'll tell them. We're going to tell the system to reverse this dictionary so that English is first and USA is next. German is first, followed by Germany. French is first, followed by France. And Spanish is first, followed by Spain. And assign that to a variable we'll call B. And I'm going to say, for uh, every X and Y object that's in the A structure's items, let me try that again. A has a whole bunch of items in it. One, two, three, four, four items in it. And it's divided up into pairs, X and Y. So for each X and Y in A's items, this is what I want you to do. For each one of these X, Y guys, in each one of these items, this is what I want you to do. I want you to write Y and X and assign that back to B. That's it. I referred to them originally as X, Y, but I'm going to write them as Y and then X and assign that to B. Well, let's see if this works. Key and B. Hit enter, and ooh la la, English, USA, German, Germany, French, France, and Spanish, Spain. That worked. This is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. Please don't forget to rate the video, and I hope it was helpful. Um, good luck to you now.